Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Cancer. Cancer, this is your weekly general reading for the 9th through the 15th of March 2020. Please keep in mind <coughs> excuse me, that this is an intuitive reading. Now I'm using the Wisdom of the Avalon Oracle along with the original Tarot for your weekly general messages. All right, so let's see what energies we have that comes up for you, Cancer. Thank you, Spirit. We are ready. And you guys, I'm trying to lose my voice, so just bear with me. All right, so we have the energy of letting go coming up here. And what I like about it is we also have the master number 44 coming up here. So very significant. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Cancer, let's see what messages we have for you. What does Cancer need to know, Spirit? Night through the 15th of March. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. Current situation, we have the Emperor. Nice. In your foundation, we have the Empress. Recent past energy, we have the Ace of Swords. Crowning you is the Two of Swords. Your new circumstance or opportunity is the Wheel of Fortune. In the position of what you need to know, you have the Queen of Wands. Your outcome energy is the Lovers. Okay. We have a lot of Major Arcana here as well. Okay. So we have the number sequence as well. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And the master number 44. I see the beginning of something that's taking place here for some of you. Uh, you could be, this could be a, a divorce that's taking place. Um, I'm also seeing a marriage for some of you. Um, Let's go ahead and let's start with this. We have letting go. There's something that needs to be released that you need to let go of. I feel for some of you this is a relationship. Doesn't necessarily that means that you're married to this other person. Uh, I do feel like you've been with them for a while. And I feel like you're already aware of this. You know you need to let go and move on. Now, for some of you, this is you letting go and releasing any, any old baggage, anything that's no longer serving you, so you can start to rebuild and move forward. Because with the emperor right here in this position, you know, as your current situation, many of you are, you know, ready to rebuild, okay? Some of you have already started rebuilding. This could be a career. This could be the ending and maybe the beginning of a new relationship, all right, is what I'm getting here. Some of you are building your empire. And, you know, I just realized not only do we have the master number 44 coming up here, we have 444, so very powerful. <clears throat> Excuse me, Cancer. You know, the emperor is a powerful, bold energy right here. You know, this is you taking action. This is you asserting yourself. Maybe taking back power and authority over your circumstances, over your situation. Some of you have recently went through a tower moment. You, you have released and let something go. And now you are ready to rebuild. Now, like I said, this could be a business. This could be a career. Uh, some of you, you may literally be buying a home or building a home. Having a home built. Um... I see there being structure here. Some of you, after a time of being in a toxic relationship, 
you've released it, you've let it go, and now you are rebuilding your life. Some of you, this is a, you've got money on your mind, you've got a money-making project here, and you could be starting a business from home as well, and I see it being very, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry, very successful. Now we have the Empress coming up here in your foundation. This is a beautiful energy. You know, this is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week, Cancer. You know, you know you have been planting the seeds. You've been nurturing them. And you know that there's going to be growth and expansion that's coming back here. For some of you, we're talking about you have a great deal of creativity and with that creativity is going to bring a lot of success and abundance in your life. For some of you, this definitely is you taking those ideas, you know, uh, those creative visions and giving birth to them, literally bringing, breathing them into life. Now, for one of you, this is definitely, we're talking about uh, bringing a, a baby home, a, a new life here as well. There could be a celebration here of a baby coming home okay and i see it being a very beautiful happy time for you that message is for one person and congratulations you know this could be a grandfather or grandmother that's watching as well you may have recently or you you know you may have recently went and seen your your grandchild in in the hospital and you're fixing to bring the baby home uh, it's a beautiful energy that I'm feeling. It's a glowing type of energy. Now, you have the Ace of Swords coming up here in your recent past energy. You know, you're still feeling this energy, Cancer, because it's showing up in your reading. You know, recently you've had a lot of clarity, and I feel like this clarity is about what, needed, what you needed to let go of, okay? And, you know, now you're in the midst here of starting a new cycle, a new beginning for, for the betterment of your situation right here. There's clarity, there's justice. I feel like many of you are doing what's right for you, okay? Now, you do have the Two of Swords coming up here in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. You know, the Two of Swords is that energy of being at a crossroads. There's a decision for, for one or two of you that needs to be made. This message isn't for everyone. Um, you're stuck. You already know the answer, okay? But you are having a hard time um, acting on it, acting on this decision, maybe because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings. Maybe this is the person you need to let go of. Uh, for some of you, this is definitely letting go and being able to move forward. But I want you to understand that once you stand in your truth and you make that decision, you have the clarity right here, Cancer. You're going to become unblocked, okay, where you're feeling stuck. So there's a need for you to just go ahead and move forward. And once you do, you have this amazing energy of the Wheel of Fortune coming up here as your new circumstance or opportunity. You know, I feel like once you break free from whatever this energy is, and for some of you, this isn't a decision. This could just be you feeling a bit stuck, um kind of like being stopped in your tracks and you know once you once you decide I feel like to break free from this energy this could be a mindset that's holding you back a way of thinking that's holding you back as well as what I'm getting from my guide once you break free from that energy you have the will of fortune coming in here this could be fear and doubt for some of you as well I'm picking up believe in yourself cancer Know that what you're wanting to take action on is going to be successful. Spirit wants you to know this. Okay, this idea or this creative vision or this new job, this career, maybe there's fear. Maybe you've held on to someone or something for so long, you kind of feel naked now uh, by letting them go or, or releasing whatever that was. And that's, that's normal. But I see you being re-inspired here, picking up the pieces taking chances and moving forward and what happens is this allows you to ride with the wheel not against it you always want to ride with the wheel okay um i feel for those of you with this coming up here where you have felt a bit challenged or stuck you know when the wheel shows up this talks about you moving out of that energy very quickly 
and there's a change of luck coming in, in here for for the positive for the betterment of your situation and it's going to happen very quickly some of you that have been waiting on a divorce to finalize i see it coming to fruition here pretty soon as well now you have the queen of wands in the position of what you need to know right now and this is aries leo sagittarius energy whether you're female or male you know cancer i see you embodying this energy i see you stepping into that powerful and bold energy it's that go-getter energy it's that mentor that teacher energy you know this is being in <clears throat> the moment where you have all the passion you have all the drive that's needed for you to go after what your heart's true desire is right here and you know when you get this energy this tells me that you're not going to allow anything or anyone to stop you from what it is that you're going after and you're going to be successful and you have the self-confidence right here to move mountains and to make things happen in your life now your outcome energy is the lovers this is the energy of gemini some of you could be dealing with the gemini you could be dealing with the leo as well that's coming up very strongly maybe an aries maybe even a taurus okay um I do feel, like I said, I feel like there's a divorce, okay? And for some of you, you are, you know, it's completely the opposite. You're, you're getting married, okay? And like I said, I see a new baby coming home from the hospital as well. Now, I do feel for the, you know, the majority of you, this talks about, you know, making a, a decision. This could be based on your job or career, Maybe it's your education. Maybe this has to do with your business. Maybe this is relocating and moving. All right. Maybe this is starting that business from home. It's going to mean something different to each and every one of you. But this talks about, you know, you know uh, what it is that you want to do right here. You have the self-confidence to make things happen. And I see you making a huge decision here that is really going to be very positive there's going to it's going to bring uh, a lot of change into your life and i feel like it's going to happen very quickly but i see good things coming your way i see you know positive outcomes to what it is that you're seeking right here cancer so that's very powerful and i feel many of you are taking time to balance your energies as well all right cancer i love each and every one of you with all of my heart please leave me a comment let me know what you're letting go of. Let me know what's going on here in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Cancer.